guys good morning or good afternoon it's actually afternoon right now what time is it it is almost one o'clock so technically it is afternoon but anyway i told you guys i was gonna get on my shit my vlogging shit because obviously i enjoy that and i just kept recording videos but then i just don't make the time to edit them today i thought i would just vlog but also make it like a diy video um i was scrolling through instagram and i saw um this diy of this girl doing foam expanding on her mirrors and i thought it looked so cool and um i'm going to attempt to do it today but i do have to go and find a mirror i do have a mirror here and i really want to use it but the mirror was expensive but i got that mirror from cb2 so it's expensive and since i've never really tried this and i'm not exactly sure if i'm going to like it i'm not going to use my CB2 mirror, so we're gonna go to like Home Goods to find a mirror that we're gonna do the DIY on. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm just gonna get ready, like do my makeup, you know, something. My skin is looking really good, but my lashes they are falling off, especially this eye is completely falling off. I need to go get um a retouch, but that's what we got going on now. Um, and I'm hungry, but and I also just put my car on the charger because I only have like 100 miles on it right now. So <clears throat> I have to charge it a little bit more. And for some reason, I don't know what's going on. I was just fine two seconds ago, but I drank some cranberry juice. And for some reason right now, my, um, my throat is like super tight. I can't swallow. Like it literally just started happening. While my car is charging downstairs, I'm gonna just um, start doing my makeup and get ready because I still wanna look a little cute and put together. You just never know who you're gonna see, especially the fact that everything now is starting to open up. Um, I just like to look a little decent. I don't know what's going on with my voice. So I kind of wanted to update you guys um, on my last video, I think my last vlog. Um, that I did tell you guys I'm going to get surgery, but it's not surgery. Um, if you guys watch, I went and visited Dr. Obe because um, I've been following him for a while since I started, you know, thinking about the whole idea of finding ways to like minimize my scar appearance. I actually went and visited him for a consultation appointment so he took a look at you know my scar my skin and basically suggested that um we do micro needling and he said that i needed like two sessions of micro needling and my scar should be you know as flat as possible so oh gosh that made me like really excited i was so ready for it um and when i when i was leaving they basically told me that they were going to call me um, or I don't know, contact me and send me information like, you know, on the date and also the price of how much it's going to be. So I obviously waited a um, few days and maybe like a week and I didn't hear anything from them. So I decided um, to message obviously the contact person who got to obey and I waited again, didn't really hear anything. So when they finally responded, she came back with uh, a price. She told me it was going to be like, um, I believe, um, she told me it was going to be 7K. And I was like, um, I thought it was, it was a lot. I wasn't expecting 7K, but I decided, okay, well, let me use my influence real quick. Um, since obviously I vlogged since my first vlog when I did my vlog um, a lot of people were like asking me like oh can you basically document it like I would love to also get this um, procedure based on you know how it works on you so I thought like okay well if I'm going to be posting this because I know that I wanted to document document the process so I'm like if I'm going to be posting this let me see if I can like talk to them and see if they will give me like 
you know, or let me see if they will work with me and basically either give me a better price or some something. I don't know. Um, so I messaged them and I asked her, I say, um, I don't know if you guys are open to like collaborating, but um, I did a vlog of my consultation with Dr. Ove and it was received really well with my followers. So they would love to, you know, obviously see the process and um, yeah, I think it would be a, a good promo. And so she was like, yeah, we, we're down, you know, we do it. And then she was, but they were not like going to do it for free, which I, I wasn't expecting it to be for free. That's not what I went to. I just wanted like, give me a better deal. Cause obviously I'm going to have, um, two, two procedures. Obviously I'm going to have two sessions of the micro blade, um, micro needling. Right. So that's going to be $14,000. I'm like $14,000 for two sessions of micro blading. I mean, micro needling. That is that's expensive i'm not gonna lie that is expensive but also this is beverly hills so yeah that should be expected right but i just wasn't expecting that much but i would say because i was so ready for this and i felt very comfortable with the doctor even if they said that they were not willing to do the collaboration to give me a like you know a lesser amount I was still gonna go ahead and just do it, but I guess I'll figure out a way um, that I'm not just fully promoting these people for free, okay? Because I watch on my platform as well. So um, she was like, yeah, we do it. And so she gave me another price. And I actually asked her this question that she never answered to this day. I said that um, it's the 7K for the two sessions or for one session and I never got an answer for that. So I still don't know if it was for two sessions or one session. I feel like if it was for two sessions, that's a good amount, 7K, cool. But for one session, I thought it was expensive. So that's why I, I asked them if they wanted to like, you know, um, collaborate and give me, you know, a lesser price. So they said the 44,000, so I was like, okay, that's even better, even if it's, um, even if it's going to be two session and each is 4,000, that's still lesser than paying 14,000 for two sessions, okay? So I was happy about that. And she was like, well, what date um, do you, what day do you wanna set up for? And I told her March 10th. I thought that was gonna be a good day for me. Um, and I didn't get any response. Yeah, my make my foundation looks really good. So I just I never got a response. I waited a few days and I didn't get a response. So I message, um, I send the email again. I was just like, hey, just checking to see like what day. I'm um, just checking to see if we're still good for the tenth. And still no answer, nothing. And I was a little annoying because I'm like, damn, like, you know, because I started clearing up my schedule because I know that I would need some days off, obviously, you know, for my, my, I don't know, skin or face to kind of start looking right because I don't know how, you know, it was going to be. Anyway, I didn't get a response. I waited a few days again. I can't remember exactly how long I waited. Wait a few days, didn't get a response. So I decided to like message them on their Instagram page because they do seem to like respond on the Instagram. So I messaged, I was like, hey, like I've been trying to set up my appointment, but I don't know what's going on, but I'm not getting a response. Could you please like check? And this is like highly unprofessional because yes, it was unprofessional, you know, like don't do that if you guys just don't have that availability availability on the day that i picked you just like tell me you know so we could schedule something else another time but to not hear anything it's just kind of annoying so um the person on the instagram um basically respond like oh we're so sorry what day would you um want to do your appointment and i was like well i wanted it on the 10th but since i didn't get a response um let's do i think i either said the 17 or the 16. um and then she was like okay well i don't know if it's a she but the person was like 
okay um i would check and let you know and i say okay so i think maybe later that day um i got a message back and she was like um we can do the 18th and i was like okay that works for me you know because i'm like i mean i don't have anything on the 18th i could have have something on the 18th but i don't have anything on the 18th um, and I was like, okay, I could, I could do the 18, fine. You know, since that works better for them, I might as well go, you know, with their schedule. And that's the thing I don't get because I thought they were gonna give me like few, um, options for days that they will have available, and I pick from those. But they were just asking me when I want, want to come. You know, so that was kind of confusing. I just thought it was gonna be the other way, and then I pick from those availability days that's i told her i said the 18th um and then here we go the waiting game has started again i'm waiting i'm waiting for response to like confirm and to also like prepare me because obviously if i'm gonna have this procedure i don't know what i need to do what i need to avoid I just messaged him and I asked, I said, is it anything I need to know, you know, just to kind of prepare me, what I need to do, blah, 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 or bring with me. Um, and I got, no respond again, cricket. Ding, 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 ding. Mind you, today is the 15th. So I don't know, maybe I, for me, I just like to be prepared and stuff. I don't like to necessarily do things last minute like if there's something that they needed me to go do um that required me to like leave my house or make an appointment for something you know it would just be better if i know ahead of time so i can have enough time to actually go get that thing done so she did they didn't respond so i just assumed okay maybe there's nothing that i need to do um but they still haven't responded to me it's the 15th. Like, should I just walk in there on the 18th and be like, I'm here for my appointment? What? I haven't gotten anything. So it's a little, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's a little devastating. And I just feel so unimportant. And I actually got emotional because I'm just like, I don't get it. Like, I'm super excited um, for this to happen. And I feel like I've been dragging it for so long. And I, know like in my heart and mind that i'm kind of ready for it you know and so to just kind of be treated unimportant it's it's a little um sad and at first i thought okay maybe he's having you know his viral moment because if you guys are not aware he was the one that did their surgical removing of the lady that had the gorilla glue on her hair so he did that procedure so obviously i've been like that's not my first time knowing of him i've been following him so i'm not here like because of oh i just saw him do this i've been following him and i actually went to my consultation before the whole gorilla girl thing happened so this isn't my first time hearing about him but anyway i'm, I'm saying that to say like one of the reasons why I really want to go to him is because obviously he's a black doctor and I feel like he understands, uh, you know, black skin. He understands black skin and how to treat it. So like going to a consultation, I felt comfortable with him and I felt like he's going to do a good job. So it's just annoying and frustrating to not be getting respond. Um, and I don't necessarily know like who to direct my frustration and annoyance towards. Cause if it's him, you know, like either not having the time or just saying, I don't wanna work, do anything with her. And I don't know if that's even the conversation. I'm just, right now I'm just creating assumptions in my head because i'm just like why are you guys like not responding to me so i'm just gonna keep you guys updated if they ever respond back to me be um you know maybe before the 18 or on the 18 and i think is if they were busy and they have all these things that they're doing right i think it's it would be really great for them to let like let people know that hey okay we're kind of busy right now. We might not be able to take you, but let's schedule for another day or we're going to let you know when we have, you know, 
an opening that can take you but to just kind of leave somebody just hanging and the person just keep messaging you guys i don't want to do that i really do not like to do that so <sighs> but yeah i almost cried the other day but i'm not gonna cry i'm not i feel like sometimes people make you feel like very unimportant and that hurts it really does so that's what i feel like i'm feeling right now and some of y'all might think i'm being dramatic but that's how i feel anyway so that's that i'm done with my makeup and i decided to do red lips today i was kind of i mean i feel like spring is around the corner let me start putting some color so um the lipstick that i actually have on is the Too faced melted matte lipstick and this is in the shade lady balls I think it has a really nice undertone for darker skin tone and it makes your teeth like super light and purry so i like that i wanted to like show you guys so the mirror that i want to get i want to put it in this room um and it's going to go on that wall i think it would look really nice when i do my try on um videos um i don't know if i show you guys like this beauty room this is basically the studio and everything goes on here so i have recording and then I have sometimes when I want to like film for Instagram Reels or IGTV and I want to use a background, I have that. So I do kind of switch this table and the setup um, around depending on what I want to film. Um, and, then on, and then behind me is just the clothing rack that I got for when I want to do like either collective haul or try on um, hauls or just anything that has to do with like clothing and fashion. This is the background that I'm going to be using because I'm gonna have the stuff basically hanging. So right now I actually have a bunch of like collective hauls, some stuff that I bought last year and early this year. So I have that and I actually wanna film that video soon. And I have um, a video that I should be filming soon. I actually filmed it and I didn't like it. So I think I might have to do it again, which is the Ivy Park um, collection that just recently came out. Um, I got few stuff. So if you guys do want to see that video, let me know and um, I will refilm it. I mean, I was going to refilm it, but I don't know. Sometimes I just think like, is it too late? Like are people not caring for it anymore? And then right in front here, I have um, some like shelf shelving that I have some of my bags and then some of my like sneakers and shoes. Let me show you guys what that looks like. I have this and then this on this side these um glass shelvings i actually got from ikea i think they were like less than a hundred dollars for each i think it was like fifty dollars for each might be like six sixty nine or fifty nine dollars for each so it's like a really good still obviously i wouldn't say like the quality is like the best by the way let's talk about these shoes right here so all of these shoes are um, Amina Muwadi um, shoes, right? But technically, these are not the real ones. These are the fake ones, because I really wanted the shoes and I just could never find them on my size. I look up and down on the internet. I couldn't find it on my size. So I was like, okay, I want them really bad, right? I went on AliExpress and I found like sort of like the, you know, basically replicas of them and they look really good but guess what though i prefer to get the real stuff i have you know i know some people don't care but i just feel like for the artist to take their time to create something so wonderful and for it to be just ripped off i don't think is fair and sometimes you know going and buying the fake stuff it's not good like i don't think it's cool but i wanted to I wanted to kind of see the vibe, right? And I really like them. So what I did, I went and purchased the real ones and I'm gonna show you the real ones right now. And then we're going to compare next to the fake ones so you guys can like see what the real and the fake ones look like. Okay, so here I have the real shoes. I actually got three of them. And then these are the fake ones. So basically we are going to compare um the reels and the fake ones so you guys can see that it's actually a huge difference let me move this here so this is what the box of the real ones look like and i found these shoes on herod and it's basically a uk based website 
Um, it took a little while to come, but I'm also gonna tell you guys, I'm, I'm kind of devastated a little bit, but it's gonna be fine. So, comes like this. You have the dust bag in there. When the, when the fake ones came, they just came in the dust bag and then in the box, they didn't have this box. So, here are the real ones right here. And trust and believe me, there's no way I can get this, the real ones and the fake one missed because they actually look completely different. I mean, they look obviously alike. If you're just looking, you will basically think, yeah, this is the same shoes. But I got um, this out in two colors. So I got it in the green and in the purple. And I think they are like $900 for them, but I really like it. I think these are so fucking gorgeous okay so pretty so that's that but then we got the fake ones right here so do you see this that's the fake one so let's take one fake one and one real ones right so look at them now if you look at these let me take this off so you guys can see like so if you look look at this and this is supposed to be the same size, but the color is actually really different. This one is much more of a saturated green, and this green is actually much more lighter, and it does look bigger. So let's even look at the back here. So look at the back. If you see the real ones right here, they have like a satin matte finish around here. But then the fake ones, they have a gloss finish around here. So, so see the fake ones? The back here is like clear. And then the real ones, it's not as clear. So that's that. So I think I'm going to go like maybe a size up or maybe a half size up. But I feel like I'll be more comfortable getting a size up and a half. But this is what the purple one looks like isn't that so cute by the way my hands are ashy because i just washed it but look how gorgeous that is i'm so sad that i have to return these why and i actually have to go drop it today so that i can get my money back and then um order the new ones because i don't want to just order the new ones because you guys know they have to like receive the stuff before they like give you your refund and so here we have the sparkly ones. This one, I think this is one of the reasons why I got obsessed with Amina Mawadi because oh my God, guys, look at this. It's so pretty and it like sparkles when um, flash is reflecting on it. Just look how gorgeous. We have the fake one. So look at the fake ones. When you see it next to each other, that's when you actually see the difference. The fake ones are more blue, and then the real ones are actually kind of green. So you see that it does have blue reflex, but this one, like when I, I, the first time when I got this, I was like, oh yeah, it looks the same. But then when I got the real ones, I was like, oh yeah, like that is actually completely two different color i'm so sad i have to return them oh this one is like this is heaven it's literally heaven right now guys so we are here at home goods and i think i'm gonna do this mirror because i feel like that's the only like longest mirror that they have here so um, and it's only like 80 dollars so chase can you help me get this please thank you this is why i need a man get it together luke <laughs> Get it together. Beep. Beep. You know who it is. 
Oh, look at that thing. jeans. I think you're gonna like this. Yeah. Isn't oh, this that gorgeous? Is this is so nice. It's a hundred dollars. We only have one of one. But I feel like you want to. Well, actually, you could still do I one use and use house. something Browns, on the bottom greens, of it. Oranges, I like it. I'm so excited to do this project. So you guys do know what I'm using this mirror for, obviously, right? Um, so when I got the mirror, I stopped by Home Depot to pick up the expanding form. And one of the guys over at Home Depot recommended that I get this one. I mean, he said because it works the same as the other ones, but this is much cheaper. It's like $3. While the other one that I was going to get was like $7. So I got five of these. Um, I think it should be enough. If it's not, <laughs> if it's not enough, literally Home Depot is like, one minute from my house, from my apartment. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm like super nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay, I think that's good shaking. I'm not exactly sure if I should do it like in a certain pattern because right now it looks kind of a mess. So let me see, maybe I should just kind of go with that so it looks nicer. Okay, so I think I am done. And I ended up using about four of the cans because I really wanted mine to be like big and thick. And man, mind you, it hasn't finished expanding yet. So it's going to be way, way more bigger than this. So I did kind of go over it when I did the first layer. I went over it again um, and added some more on the top. And then I went around the edges and added more. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to like lift it off when it's dry because I feel like it might be drying to the clotting. But if it does like adhere to that, I would just kind of cut the fabric around it. We're just going to kind of let it do its thing. So update. It's been a few hours so far and it feels like it's dry. I don't know if I should just let it sit here or I should try to attempt and get it up to see how that is gonna work. But it looks really good. I'm super happy with this. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I went to sleep and I'm up. I think right now it's probably, what time is it right now? It's 11.41, so yeah. You know, I had a really good night's sleep. I love to... I love to sleep now. I feel like it has honestly been helping me a lot, but I'm up and excited to obviously come and see this mirror and everything. So we're gonna try to get it up and cut around. I did try to pull it from the fabric, but it's really hard and I do not wanna damage it. So I'm just gonna cut around it. Thank you. 